during mitotic division its spermatocyte each spermatocyte
lysosomes and associated enzymes associated enzymes connect contains the centrioles of the sperm cell the neck contains the centrioles of sperm cell the metabolism is constantly packed within mitochondria which provide energy in the form of ATP for the locomotion of the sperm the middle piece packed with mitochondria which provide energy in the form of ATP for the locomotion of sperm for the locomotion of sperm The tail, which is covered by a long extension of cellular membrane, consists most of the cytoplasm of the sperm. It also has the contractile element of the sperm filament that extends the entire length of the middle piece and the tail. The filament surrounded by an axial sheath is made up of a number of the filament. surrounded by an axial sheath is made up of the number of fibers these are somewhat about sperm the sperm are located in the sac like structure in the testis the testis are both exocrine and endocrine in function the spermatozoa are produced by i mean testicles and male sex hormones by the interstitial cells of lady by the interstitial cells of lady and the mitotic division of germ cells or spermatogonia gives rise to spermatocytes gives rise to spermatocytes during this mitotic division or mitotic cell division each of the spermatocyte produces the four haploid cells four haploid cells which are commonly known to be as spermatozoa or sperm and the human sperm averages about 0.05 mm in the length and its structure its structure comprises or composed of a head a neck a middle piece and a tail and a tail these are the four structures which is comprises the sperm and in that the head is composed of nucleus of cells with thin cytoplasmic sheath with thin cytoplasmic sheath and the cell membrane and the cell membrane 
and in the front of the head on the front of the head there is a structure called acrosome which is commonly seen as a cap like structure a cap like structure on the front of the head which contains lysosomes and associated enzymes the acrosome which contains the lysosome sign associated enzymes and next coming to the neck the neck contains the centrioles of sperm cells the neck contains the centrioles of sperm cells and after that comes to the middle piece the middle piece it is packed with the mitochondria which provide energy in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate ADP adenosine diphosphate for the locomotion of the sperm for the locomotion of the sperm the filament is surrounded by axial sheath the filament is surrounded by axial sheath and is made up of number of fine fibers and is made up of number of fine fibers Thank you. 
And here, the next structure we can see. Thank you. 
and this is the head structure and this center part is the neck and is the middle piece and from this to hold this it is a tail this is the head structure this is the neck structure and after this it is a middle piece and after the middle piece till to the tail it is tail and what are the particular structures or said to be as in the upper side of the cap like structure we are going to see the cell membrane we are going to see the cell membrane and inside the cell membrane you can see the acrosome structure at the point of cap like structure and in the center of the head we can observe the nucleus and the two dark structures you can see these are called as centrioles these are called as centrioles and here you can see the mitochondria mitochondria and in the tail piece the total structures which are said to be as cytoplasm cytoplasm and there is a tube like structure or vessel like structure inside the tail and the tube like or vessel like structure we are going to call it as axial filament axial filament this is the outer structure of the human sperm in that the human sperm composed of four parts and one is head and the next is a small naked structure and after the neck comes the middle piece or the center of the body and finally comes the tail below the middle piece it comes the tail part and what are the structures or what are the parts which are containing in the sperm or are in the outer structure of sperm at the top of the cap like structure there is a membrane we are going to see and this membrane is said to be a cell membrane and below this cell membrane we can see a cap open and close cap system this type of structure we can call it as acrosome and inside the head structure we are going to see the specialized structure and this specialized structure is said to be known as nucleus and after the nucleus in the neck structure we are going to see two dark band structures these band structures are said to be known as centrioles centrioles and after this neck in the middle piece we are going to see the cross or folded ligaments and these are said to be known as mitochondria and after the mitochondria in the structure of tail we are going to see the 
कॉटेड और डॉटेड मेम्ब्रेन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड दिस मेम्ब्रेन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स आर सेल टू बी नोन एज साइटोप्लाज्म एंड फाइनली इन द टेल और इनसाइड द टेल वी आर गोइंग टू सी द वेसल ऑफ ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस स्ट्रक्चर आर सेल टू बी नोन एज एक्सियल फिलामेंट दिस स्ट्रक्चर आर सेल टू बी नोन एज एक्सियल फिलामेंट दिस इज द अल्ट्रा स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन स्पर्म अल्ट्रा स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन स्पर्म and the seven which is a viscous fluid provides a suitable medium for swimming of sperm the seven which is a viscous fluid provides suitable medium for swimming of sperms suitable medium for swimming of sperms in addition it contains nutritive materials which keep the sperm viable or movable fresh mammalian semen primarily contains polypeptides phosphoryl phosphoryl chlorine inositol ergothioneine citric and fructose an important enzyme hyaluronidase and inorganic ions na plus k plus and ca plus plus and cl minus the presence of zinc in the semen is perhaps the highest among all the body fluids its concentration is 14 mg per 100 ml of semen fructose is in semen forms an important source of energy and helps in sperm motility or sperms matured condition it is anaerobically converted into lactic acid through the impedent mehoff pathway during the process of atp is formed which is necessary for sperm motility the semen shows a tendency to ablunate when exposed to air the mechanism is very similar to the clotting of blood the semen when comes in contact with the air it gets agglutinated which gets agglutinate and involves the eventual conversion of fibrin to fibrinogen this would hamper the free movement of sperm in order to prevent this both the males and the females produce antiglutinins in the males antiglutinins are produced in the prostate gland and in the females in ovarian follicles fallopian tubes and the mucosa of the cervix antiglutinins of male contain sugar sulfuric acids residues acid a vitamin e derivative The antiglutinins of females contain sugars but no sulfur. Vitamins are important for sexual activity. It is known as the postnatal development of the testis is retarded during biotic deficiency. Pyridoxine and B1 deficiency retards weight increases and spermatogenesis in testes and inhibits the development of interstitial cells of lady ascorbic acids protect against b1 a vitamin o cis deficiency in e a b1 b2 b12 c m f f and h affects the whole genital tract the testicular hormones are known as androgens 
Beside this, the semen also contains a hormone-like substance known as prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are the hormone-like substance present in semen. And this is about the ultrastructure of sperm and the structures which are present in the sperm and what are the hormones involved in the spermatogenesis and what are the hormones produced to ultimate the sperm it is same way as the clotting of blood